the way to, to, ano, to make this faster is yes, to do it dapat ang DOE, permitting process. Alam mo, daming permitting dito sa Pilipinas. Oh. So, we could be doing something bilang, Uy! Pagkakay humingi ng permission sa amin. Yeah. So, we'll have to be careful. Um, good example. A uh, wind farm. Did you know you have to get permission from the military? Kasi radar daw. Yung kanilang mm. military radar. Baka ma-apekto ka. Oh. Ma-obstruct. Yeah. Uh, then, you have to ask permission from Smart and Globe. Why? Mm. Kasi, tatayo ka ng wind farm dito. Nandito yung some cellular tower, some cellular tower. Ano yun eh, point to point. Eh, maka- maharang nung wind mar- wind mill yung na-interrupt yung, yung uh, signal. Things like that. Uh, third, may tinatawag na Civil Aviation uh, Authority, ka. Sabihin nila, take ka muna. Yung wind mill, yung wind mill nyo, baka may runway dyan na you know, makakaharap sa take-off landing ng airport na 50 kilometers away. So, yun ang mga things that you don't know will pop up. So, lalo na sa offshore wind, we don't know who, who might end up. I could think in my mind, Bureau of Fisheries. Baka sabi nila, you know, that's a fishing ground. You know, could be a DNR, oh, protected area yan, may coral reef. Ako, luckily, diver ako, so I know where to, ano. Pwedeng sabihin ng Coast Guard, Teka muna, ano yan? Daanan ng mga Roro or uh, Ferry. So those, you never know. Or, um, tapay na kami. Bigid ng tatawag PLDT. Oh, bakit? Eh, nandyan yung aming fiber optic line. Ha? Ah, nandyan pa? Okay, dito na lang. Fill box, bakit? May seismic fog dyan. Lala mo ba nandiyan yun? <laughs> so you never know. So I'm giving you examples. But this is, as a pioneer, this is what we do. Pero so far, sir, uh, sir, you haven't identified yet, sir, kung ano yung mga pwede mga ganyan bar- barricade uh, in building this. Essentially, what I shared with you, I anticipate ko na Anticipate. We're not talking about people yet. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about governors or mayors. Whether they will support or not, we're just talking about technical constraints. But uh, as Banji knows, we've pioneered this in Locos Norte. We were there, in my college, and in Pililia. So we'll just be ready for whatever comes. Sir, so, paano nagsimula yung partnership niyo with uh, with Shell? Uh, ano to? Matagal na po bang napapag-usapan? Honestly, sila lumapit sa akin. They asked us. Napalita na kami with siguro the, the, with the Pililia, the Bangi Bay. They approach us. They... Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. <laughs> they approach us. Yeah. And they said, we like to work with you. Can we work on a project together? So, it's in a way, it's an honor. Or, um, um, we're flattered that they approach us. Kami yung nilapitan. Hindi kami lumapit sa kanila. And we kept telling them, Shell, you know, we'll work with you. But meanwhile, ang dami tumatawag ng mga other offshore wind developers from Norway, from from Denmark, from Sweden, from, uh, uh, you know, from France. They were looking for partners, but we said we're already talking to someone. Yeah, you don't want to be... Uh, for me, reputation is just as important. You know? So if you're already talking to someone, why not? No, no, no. College, tayo. Kunyari, meron ka ng steady, di ba? Hindi ka lalang pa sa gabi. So, kaya nga, it's a funny conversation. Marriage and divorce. Pagbaba namin, somebody said, you know in the Philippines, there's no divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so we only talk about marriage. So anyway, yeah, we'll work with that. Yeah. Um, here in the Philippines, you have, you know, this is a a, a pathway to storms and that thunderstorms and all that. Aren't you, um, you know, uh, worried, about, worried yeah. about the weather okay. condition here good. in the Philippines? Good, good question, Kay. Um, so we learned from, ano, 
uh, north wind, yung Bangui Bay. Tinamaan niya ng direct eye of the hurricane sa Ilocos. Tinamaan. So, no damage. But what we do, we stop the turbines actually. We stop it. Unlike what you think, pag malakas yung typhoon, ah, and then you stop it, you, you, para bang you lock, ilalock mo, para hindi masisira, hindi ma, masisira, you lock it. So, a wind turbine has a minimum and maximum uh, wind uh, speed that it can operate on. So, we're not worried. So, so there are certain countries na where there's no typhoon. Thailand. Mahina yung wind doon. So, the the quality of the turbines is a different class. Class 3. Nilataw nila. Lahat ng wind turbines ito, class 1. It has to withstand a typhoon. Yeah. Which means, mas mahal ng konti. Mas matibay. Uh, kumbaga, the... Uh, the blades mm -hmm. no? cannot be as long, medyo parang mas maiksi ng konti to withstand a uh, typhoon. Yun lang, you just adjust that. Yes, there, you know, hurricanes are all over. I mean, hurricanes, cyclones, typhoon. So, while we want to tap the wind power in the country, uh, you, we don't also, we cannot use yung typhoon. Masyadong malakas, we have to lock it. And in an offshore wind, mas malakas talaga ng hangin. Walang friction. Eh. Walang, there's no soil or ground that is slowing the wind. Yun talaga ng Kaya mas malakas ang wind resource over offshore wind than on, on land. Makikita mo naman. Yun, we've seen it. Ano yung um, typhoon uh, from category 1, again category 5, tumama ng Nueva Ecija. But once tumama ng Sierra Madre, Bumina. So, ganun din. May friction ng that. So, uh, forest is a friction also. Pag maraming puno, it slows down the wind. Um, anyway, okay. So, not to worry about that. We just have to have the right um, um, class na matibay. To endure yeah. that. Kasi, Japan has offshore wind. Korea, maybe. They also get typhoons. Sir, uh, yes. considering na, anbawa na, na Is it rain? Yes, yeah. Okay, yes. rain. Yeah. Na may go signal na, no? Halimbawa, wala nang, wala nang problema. Mm. How long will it take yung paggagawa nung ano? Usually, yung, the video you saw, one, one year yun, 12 months. But usually, 12, 18 months ang construction period ng a wind project. 18 months. Mabilis yun compared to a coal plant. Three years, four years. Um, mabilis na yun. Um, a wind turbine is like a Lego, eh. It's like uh, you just assemble it. The winds are are modular. Uh, the equipment are modular. So um, usually, eighteen months is a good time for construction. So. But it, but this is offshore, so may, wala bang... does it count for anything? Uh, it could be. It could be. Uh, it could be. Uh, it could take longer because uh, may may technology na ground mounted. Kumbaga, uh, talagang nasa seabed. Itong technology namin is floating. Floating. Oh. Um, iceberg is a floating mountain of ice. Mm -hmm. Pero it's pretty stable. So this one is also, our technology will be floating offshore wind. So pwede mas malalim sa dagat. So parang mabigat lang yung base, but uh, pretty much uh, stable. Are, are the wind uh, turbines from other countries the same with what we're going to have? Uh, the supply chain is very, um, is all over. Right? There could be made in Japan, made in Korea, made in Netherlands. You know, right now with the world, you know, I mean, Pilia Rizal, it's a Spanish turbine, but um, the blades were done by women in Spain. I'll tell you why later. The generators from another country, I know the supply chain in the world is, comes from Eru. the steel. That's the, the the tower came from Vietnam. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it it could be anything. Now, the wind blade is is a is a very computer generated 
um, design for maximum efficiency. Nandun yung intellectual property, the shape of the blade. Para bang how much can it capture of wind resource to make it turn. Before, when in the power in the wind uh, factory, wind blade factory, haba no factory, kasi haba no wind blade. You saw. I don't know if you get to see the video. Yung mabut ba kayo when we were playing? Ako hindi. Yeah. We should play it again. Right, right? Yeah. Yeah. We should play it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, you should watch it. So, para no, that's made of fiber. Para bang gumawa ka ng mold? Fiber, glass fiber na matibay na magaan, matibay na magaan. Hindi pa di mabigat. Kasi hindi maikot. So, in the old days. Women, workers, because women are more meticulous <laughs> and detailed oriented, may sandpaper sila, ginagano nila. Or may machine, sorry. Hindi pa nag sandpaper. Mano mano. Kasi para walang friction yun, para pag dumaan yung hangin, talang gagalaw ka. So, the technology for building a wind blade is top secret. Kung papasok ko sa isang factory, kapapapirma ka ng confidentiality agreement. Para bang yung design is secret? Malalaman na lang pag commercial operation. Aha! Parang, I guess, car manufacturing. Pag may design, secret muna. Paglabas, oh wow, yan ang bagong Toyota. Ganun din, tago yung... May mga computer models sila, may mga wind funnel, tinetest ko ano yung mas efficient. So light, durable, and efficient. Yun ang technology. So, may laruan yung pinwheels. Dati pinapapigay natin sa mga school children yun, yung pinwheels. Yung konting ihip lang, gagalaw na yun. Malalaman kung masyado mapigat yung papel. Pero kung magaan, ganoon. Yan ang mga little techniques. I'm just trying to explain the equipment. There is a factory here uh, that makes uh, wind blades, but for export. Uh, you're, you're not getting it uh, yung, uh, from here? Uh, it would be nice, but we'll see uh, at the end kung where... Hindi kaya? Hindi pa kaya na? Actually, that wind manufacturing, kaya kaya ng Pilipinas yan eh. Kaya kaya. Plancha lang. Magaling tayo magplancha. But you have to have a uh, factory. So, but I understand there's a company in Bataan that makes wind blades for export to another supplier. I don't know who it's at. Yeah. So, that tower, nung inassemble namin, one day. One day per tower. Kanya kabilis. Kaya lang six years to get all the permits. Yon. Yon, yon. <laughs> yes. Yon. Sa Pilipinas. Yon. <laughs> yes. Uh, di ba, nakatungkos tayo sir sa ano, sa solar? Real ba? Real? Okay. Okay. Sa solar, sa hydro, at sa wind. Are you planning sa naman na research yung gitin? Tika-lating ka ba? Mas ano daw yun eh, mas mungo daw yun eh. Alam, iisa lang look up. Sa buong Pilipinas na pagkitsaka ng Ditero, si First Lady Imelda Marcos. Kasi may Ditero daw sa... At alam ko sa ano yun eh, na-research yun eh. Kaso alam, kulang daw ang government sa funding siya. I have to beg ignorance. Yeah, I don't have to beg ignorance. Sir, yung Alternergy, kayo po ang pioneer ng wind sa atin? Oo, sa Ilocos. Kami nagtayo. Yung sa... Meron ko sa governor doon doon na tumutulong sa amin. Ang pangalan niya, Bongbong Marcos. Okay. <laughs> Siyang tumulong sa amin. Uh -huh. Oo. Oh, kasi, nandun sa, kumbaga, yung Luzon, mukha yun. Ano ba ba yun? Manila ba ito? Ito, Ilocos. Ito, Beacon. So, pag malapit, pag malayong sa equator, lalong lalakas yung hangin. Pag nasa equator, walang hangin. Kasi kung ito yung mundo, ito yung araw, di ganyan, yan ang equator. Yung hangin pataas. Kasi nag-evaporate. 
So lahat ng hangin pag ganito. Galing the north bumababa. Yung galing dito gumagano. Pag ganyan, eh, nandiyan yung mainit, no? So pag ganun. So yung galing sa ilo sa north, sa Ilocos, sa Korea, pag ganun yung hangin, pag ganun. Kaya walang hangin masyado dito. Kaya pag lumakpas ka, pag mas north, mas malakas yung hangin. Ilocos, Patanes. Ganun din sa Australia. Ganun din. Mas malakas din yung hangin doon. Kasi pag ganun doon, ganun, ganun naman. Kaya wala masyadong hangin sa Singapore. Walang wind power ng potensya. Sa Indonesia, kukunti na. Kaya, karamihan ng wind project sa Luzon, kukunti na ng Boracay, siguro yung dulo sa taas. Marapit sa Boracay yun. Pero pagbababa na, mahina na yung wind resource. Kaya yung unang, pinakaunang project namin sa Ilocos Norte. Doon kami nagkatayo. And doon tumulong. Kaya naging, alam mo, siya nagampanya. Panay windmills. <laughs> diba? Kaya, kaya sa kanya, talagang tutok renewable power dahil kay President BBM. In that sense. With that being said, sir, kasi, well, he's the president now. Are you more positive in terms of, you know, the yung speed of the permits that you have to go through and all that is there like a positive para duma, light para in... dumami <laughs> <laughs> para oy we wind farm may iba ng permit natin yan yeah? uh, tayo kami sa Pilila Rizal wind farm Laguna Lake di kayo humingi ng permit sa amin ano Laguna Lake bakit eh di ba mayro kayong toilet yes di ba may tubig yon yes Eh, kung bumaha yung toilet, di ba mapupulot ang Laguna Lake? Ah, uh, yes. Kailangan nyo ng permit. <laughs> so, we have to get permit. Totoo oh, Yes, I'm It's more of really the local, ano po talaga. Uh, by the way, I, I, don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, because watershed <laughs> ng Laguna Lake, yung Pililia, <laughs> they felt that you have to protect the <laughs> uh, watershed. And I'm an environmentalist, so syempre, uh, you comply. <laughs> I complied. Oh, pero was it necessary? Kita mo kasi, you could see the lake in some of the videos there. Yeah. But I also want to educate the Filipino. Like that's why I want to talk to you. Na why renewable is so important to the country. Kaya nagtayo kami ng visitor center. No? The al- true reason of the visitor center kasi. Tapi ko take mo na. Alam ko ito eh, kasi maraming pumupunta sa Ilocos, ginagawang tourist attraction. Ito ang lapit sa Manila. Pililia Rizal is two hours by car. I was afraid, mga turista, magiging parang langgam. Lalakad-lakad lang around the, the wind area. At may mga high voltage yun na cable I don't want anyone to be electrocuted. Then. So sabi ko, para to funnel the tourists, nagtayo kami ng visitor center. And then nagtayo na kami ng parang information, parang museo, not museo, parang what is renewable, nagtayo kami ng, kaya we'll have to arrange a visit for them there. Ba, nakin tourist destination, ang dami nagbabike. They rest there and then they go down, mga motorbike, okay, pahinga sila, then come back. Naging, naging tourist attraction yung Pilila, 360,000 visitors a year who visited doon sa aming visitor center. Think about that. 360,000. That's 10,000 a day. 1,000. 360,000? 1,000 a day. If it will. Pero, yung 360,000 is in three windows. Easter, Holy Week, mm-hmm. Christmas, at uh, ano pa isang holiday. Doon lahat. Sinusugo yun. Ginagawang bisita iglesia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kasi malapit sa <laughs> oh, kasi malapit mga simbahan yun. yun siguro isip nila parang Cal- ano Calvary no? <laughs> Calvary <laughs> so yun yung mga windows so, but, so yun luckily when they go there they learn about renewable so when we will arrange something we'll go there yeah. sir, sir where are we now sa ano um Okay. Understanding ng Philippines so sa renewable is, energy. Ganyan. During my time, uh, 2005, we were about 
38% renewables. But after that, Gumami and coal projects. Today, coal is 57%. Dumo, sumo, umina yung video. Kaya we have to bring it to 50-50. I believe in diversification. I'm an environmentalist. I don't like coal. But as a bilang bansa, hindi rin secure kung lahat tayo wind power. Kasi nangyari nga sa Germany. Ang dami na lang wind. May isang taon, walang hangit. So, paano yan? Biglang they were looking to buy power from other countries. So, the more diversified, the better for us. Wind, solar, hydro, battery storage, offshore wind. Okay, counting coal, counting oil, counting diesel, counting natural gas. The more diversified, the better. But ako, I'd rather see more renewable than less. Some people say, pwede bang 100% renewable? Pwede island by island. So for instance, Negros is 100% renewable. May solar doon, may biogas, yung, yung, uh, yung sugar, <coughs> pag napisa na nila, yung stock, sinusunog nila yung as fuel. Yan. Uh, may solar sila, may geothermal. So pwede island by island, pwede. For me, kung very, kung yung island is, um, vulnerable, like Pindoro, may tamaraw doon. Gawin na natin renewable. May bundok, may konting geothermal, konting wind. Island by island, pwede yung gawin natin 100% island, renewable. But not the whole country. Ngayon. So, uh, Leyte is 100% renewable, panay geothermal. Ina-export pa nga nila. But, so pwede yung island by island. My dream is some of the islands could be 100% renewable. Kakakain ng Boracay, baka sa lahat na lang sana electric vehicles, kaya tahimik. Electric tricycles pala, hindi maingay. Ayaw ko kung nakapunta ko, minsan sa likod ang ingay. Ang bago irain ng vehicle, puro mga tricycle na... Tricycle. Hindi kasi hindi na, ngayon. Ano sila lapit? Puro electric. Electric. Tahimik, which is good. So... Sir, itong project ninyo with uh, Shell, is this your biggest to date? Or? This will be the biggest. The biggest. This will be the biggest. Yeah. And you start, you start small. Mm -hmm. Si Knut Hedegger, my partner, he's uh, Danish but has been living here since 2005. Married the Filipina. So, dito na yan. Yung first hydro project niya, 2 megawatts. Dit lang yan. 2. Mm -hmm. Sa Nueva Vizcaya. So, ngayon, nagtatayo. Parang siya, nag-experiment lang siya muna. So ngayon, under Alternagy, meron na kaming 17 megawatts, uh, 7 megawatts. But ayaw namin yung binabaha, yung may dam. We don't like that kasi you might have to relocate people. Or malulunod yung barangay. Ngayon namin yun. Yung run of river hydro lang kami. Talaga. Ano lang, just enough to bring down to a pipe. Tapos yung gravity force will uh, run the turbine. Ganun ang mga project namin. Low impact. Um, so, yung excited. But marami pa kaming wind projects susunod dito sa, sa Pililia. Sa Tanay, meron kaming balang. Tanay Rizal is beside Pililia. Alam na namin may hangin sa Pililia. So, yung katabi, siguro may hangin din yun. Kaya, ito kami nagtayo ng measuring tower to measure the wind. Mukhang maganda naman yung wind. So that will be our next. Mauna pa yung dan. Mauna pa yung tanay dan na long option. With all of your projects, sir, and you know everything in the pipeline, everything seems so good and all that. But kailan po your like your target na the Filipinos would feel the effect of all these projects? Yeah. Do you have like a year in mind? that it would, you know, totally um, uh, allow us to experience that, uh, the renewable energy effect. Yeah. In over time, over work. time. So, um, um, I wanted to share with you na uh, more and more the next generation really, no, no question, they believe in renewable. Mm -hmm. 
yung mga lolo natin para bang they still try to get a grasp on it. So um, may pamangkin ako. Uh, trabaho niya climate change commission. Pero major tapos isa naman psychology. Pero ang kanyang major na yon how to help those who are affected by climate change. Kagaya yung typhoon na uh, Yolanda sa maraming na apekto. Mm. Gusto niyang tulungan yung how to manage the the stress of those who were displaced by climate change. Yun ang gusto niya gawing specialty. Hindi, kasi psychology could be you know, helping a student deal with the uh, issues. Ito, gagawa siya ng subsec, sub major ng psychology to help climate change Big refugees. Oh. Yeah. Oh, bago yun. Ah. During my time, walang ganun major, pero yun ang napili niya. Yeah. And it greatly affects everyone po kasi. Eh. Oh, lalo na dito. You know, we're those who are displaced. Um, so, it's the young who are finding their niche um, um, in this sustainability field. Ganyan. Um, those are my employees at Alternity. Um, uh, one did a yung may black ano, kanyang ano ba yun? College thesis, eh, tatayo siya ng malit na micro wind sa kanyang farm to reduce yung genset ng diesel. Yun ang kanyang paper. Oh, tapos na-discovery ko, sige tara. So siya na yun ang responsible for offshore wind. <laughs> From a small. Oh. Yeah. Ano lang, uh, college project. Mm -hmm. Tatayo siya ng isang malit na turbine sa sa Patangas to now, yan. You, Neil, ikaw to be part of the work, team working with Shell. So, one thing leads to another. Yeah. Start small, dream big. That's Start small, yeah. dream big. Malay nyo, you'll come up with a blog on green energy. Maraming susunod dyan. May blog pa ako nakita, girls who invest in, ano? Girls who invest in the stock market. Special uh, blog pang baba, para sa babae lang to invest in the stock market. Wow, galing niche na yun. Girls who invest. Yeah. 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 Girls rock investing. Girls rock investing. Yeah. So you come up with your own niche. Uh, hmm. Marami susunod yan. Especially this topic is very important to them. Kaya yung aming, our slogan is, Wind, solar, run a river for the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, you. Uh, uh, Go, okay. Okay. Sir, one, one last rain, question. Rain. Yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. Uh, do you have. Uh, yes, what can I give rain? Dapat nasa hydro project ka namin. Kind of rain. Rain check bang ang pangalan ng blackboard? Yes. Rain check. Okay. Sir, ano, uh, question ko is. Do, do you know the meaning of rain check? Paano sa nang kumpisa yun? Kunyari, may date may kayo. Ah, yeah. Date kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Tap, kano ba yun usually okay, lalabas kayo yung manunod ng bo, sa US yun eh? Ball game? Baseball? Okay. Naula na. Sasabihin nung organizer, ay, uh, the game has been postponed. We'll give you a rain check. Okay. <laughs> na babalik ka next. Yung, kunyari, nabili mo na yung ticket. Here's your rain check. So you can watch it when we replay. It's a rain check. It's like postponing your date. But uh, now, it becomes a postponement. <laughs> can I take a rain check? Can I take a rain check? Can I take a rain check? You know, meaning rain check. Yeah, yeah. Okay, rain. Sige. That's the original meaning. <laughs> okay. I, sir, um, do you have plans of going back to you know public service kasi okay i don't know yeah, why yeah. you question that's it or <laughs> <laughs> maria the bloggers are asking me do i have plans to go back to go government service what's your answer <laughs> 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 if I have plans to go back to government, sir. <laughs> I think the short answer is uh, perhaps not. Perhaps not. That's a compelling reason. Ay, ang ganda na sa gata. Very safe. No, I've done it. And I think it was unexpected that I was going to become a member of the cabinet. 
I really have no plans to become a male cabinet member. But, nung nag ako ng economics sa UP, meron akong humingi ako ng mentor, uh, mentoring from professors. One of them was Gloria Macapagal. Hindi pa siya married, no? Gloria Macapagal. So, would I know she, she would become a president? No. But over time, siya, siya pa yung gumawa ng letter of recommendation ko para to go to my master's degree. Sabi ko, ma'am, pwede ba? Kailangan niyo na ako. I mean, can you write? Oh, okay. So she wrote my letter of recommendation to go to grad school. Yun. Tapos, thank you. Then when I, you know, bibisita ako, nasa BOI siya, I would visit her. Before you know it, naging vice president and naging president. So tumawa. I need young people working for me that I can trust. <laughs> ma'am, pwede ba ako maging ambassador to the United States? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> You're young. <laughs> so, uh, that's how that's how I became. So when she said I want you to join the cabinet, I told I talked to my father. And I said, Dad, what do you think? Sabinya national service national service is privilege. If you could do it at least once in your life, mm. do it. Para di ka na magreklamo <laughs> later. Because you know how government works or does not work. So I was there five years. Then after five years, my same dad that I asked, my sakit na, sabi ko, I want to be around when, and he passed away shortly after. But, but five years, four years, college degree na yun eh. Four years ka. So parang, uy, I've already been governed for five years. So um, after I stepped down, hindi ko alam kung gagawin ko. Kasi I was a banker before, entrepreneur ako, meron, meron ako mga ko, ano na mga, uh, alam mo yung alima, alim, alima, alima, alima no? yung blue crab, alimasa, tapos pinupuno ko ng, tinatangko ko yung shell, tapos talagyan mo ng stuffing, Baby. yung masarap, kinakain natin yun, yung rillianong crabs, rillianong crabs, oh. Oh, yun. negosyo kong gano'n, do I go back to, you know, uh, seafood, o baka magtungo na lang ako, or do nothing. So I asked a coach, I, I asked for a, a, a adult coach. Kasi sa college, meron tayong coach, sa PE, diba, may coach. Pero ito, sabi ko, can you, I don't know what to do. So talagang daming test, psychological test, attitude test, para kung nag-apply ulit sa sisuela. <laughs> I mean, aha! Itong recommendation ko, Vince. Pangalan niya Anthony. Oh, ay, Anthony. Di ba, mahilig ka sa, you're, mahilig ka sa nature. Boy Scout. You like camping, hiking, scuba diving, sailing. Di ba? Oh, you like nature. Yes. Tapos, five years ka sa energy. Yeah. Pero, ang dami mo natutunan sa energy. Yes. Ang dami mo nakilala sa energy. Yes. I-marry mo yung dalawa. Yeah. Renewable energy. You're an entrepreneur. Nagtayo ka na ng mga entrepreneur ka in renewable energy. That's how. Siya nagbigay ng seed sa akin. Okay. And Alternagy was born. So not too late to go out ask for a mentor. Kunyari, you know, and you know, I, people come to me. You know, I left. Bored na ako. Nandito ako. What should I do? Sige, ito. Kasi, if this guy helped me. I'll help others who are asking um, for um, their next career advice. So that's what happened. I owe Alternity because of that guy, Anthony. Siya nagbigay ng seed of thought. So back to your question. Will I yes, go back to yes. government? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I have to get a degree at Gone Signal. Compelling reason. And I was shortlisted for this position. But I was not qualified because under the DOE law, if you are in the industry already, as I am with Alternogy, para may conflict. Kunyari, 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 nag-resign ako last June 30. Uh, June 30. Then, ako na yun ang Secretary of Energy. Of course, I cannot take it out of me that I will be biased towards you. I cannot be not biased. But the industries got coal, got gas, got diesel. I have to serve the whole country, diba? So yun ang ina-avoid nila yung conflict of interest. Yeah. So I've, 
that's in the law na I would have been disqualified. Now, if I had retired five years ago, I would be qualified. Mm -hmm. Wala akong conflict, mal malayo na. So, kunyari, I was energy secretary. Ako nagtayo. Tapos binigyan ko ng award ng offshore wind si Alternergy. Sabi ng tao, ay, mm -hmm. kaya ko binigay. Mm -hmm. Kasi parkado mo dati yan. Not because they're qualified. Mas kinano sabihin ko, they're qualified, they have their track record. Eh, but if you used to be there, may kulay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, luckily, that was my excuse kaya hindi ako na-appoint. Mm -hmm. And Sec. Popo Dutilia is qualified, luckily. Uh, so, uh, and I'm glad that he's into renewable. But government service could be any form. It doesn't have to be a cabinet. It could be a member of the Sangguniang Barangay. Mm -hmm. Somebody in Bayan, you could be an uh, active board member of this. In many la la layers. You could be working for the Philippine News Agency in the field of renewables. Ganon, kanya-kanyang niche tayo. Pwede. Okay, Rain? Na, okay. gets ko na. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we should organize a trip to... Sino ba sa'yo nakabisita na sa Pili Rizal? Nee, Nee. Ah, okay. So, what like, how, how do people go there like they can do walk in po or yeah, they have yeah. to oh, okay oh.